uh, you know, we're on a, a what seemed to be a pretty normal flight. We had a, a really nice charter plane. It was about a, almost 200 seats for about 30 something of us. So it was a uh, big aircraft. And uh, as we were uh, departing uh, Chickabee over at Westover, we you know got off to a pretty normal flight. And then uh, you know five or ten minutes in, the pilot or the, or the flight attendant informed us that um, you know we're having uh, some difficulties in the cockpit that uh, we're going to probably have to make an emergency landing at the closest airport, which ends up being Albany, Albany, New York, that there was uh, what they thought was a little bit of smoke in the cockpit and a, and a pretty strange odor, um, which I actually could smell being in the second or third row. Um, it smelled like a kind of a copper, copper smell or, or something along the lines of something cooking or boiling. And so, um, you know, the, the flight attendants and the pilots did a very good job of, uh, you know, getting us in here safely and keeping everything, everybody pretty calm uh, when, you know, you have young kids and college kids and there's a lot of them together, that, you know, if one of them kind of <laughs> starts feeling a little scared or nervous, I think that can carry over to the, to the whole group. Um, and so, um, you know, I kept a, a pretty stern and straight face and told the guys everything was going to be all right. And, um, you know, it was nice that when we actually touched down and, and had some had some solid ground under the feet. Um, that was uh, that was a good thing. And um, we, we've uh, been here now uh, probably the better of two hours uh, in Millionaire, which is an FBO here in Albany, kind of hanging around and just talking and being together, which, um, you know, while it is not the perfect case scenario, at least it's a good chance to bond with the guys and be around each other because, uh, you know, this is our family for a better, a better amount of uh, nine months a year. So um, it's uh, not a perfect case scenario, but uh, guess what? I'm happy that my team is all together and uh, safe and sound. When you fly on an airplane, that's probably the last thing that you want to hear when you're uh, when you're up in the air. Can you give us uh, an idea about well, the first emotion that you felt and maybe uh, how your uh, your players uh, looked when they heard that? <laughs> well, I was. I usually sit pretty far up in front of the plane, so I was a little ways away from the guys, and I was trying really not to back there because I wanted them, them to have a feeling of you know safety that I was calm and kind of in control. But you know, there's different things that race through your mind, and uh, you know, the, the the first and most serious is this: is this something that's just a routine kind of landing, or is this something that could get you know very dangerous uh, kind of quickly? And I kind of felt a little bit in the middle now, where I, you know I'd never been in a situation like that. And so, although I had some different thoughts racing through my mind, um, I made sure that the uh, the positive thoughts took over, and um, that the guys didn't see any uh, any sense of urgency or nervousness in me, because I, I knew a few of them back there were uh, were hopping around in their seats, and I had a couple of assistant coaches even uh, ducked their heads into their seat a little bit. <laughs> Well, I know that you've been traveling as a player and as a coach for, uh, geez, almost 20 years now. Have you ever had anything like this happen before? No, no, never. Never had a, an emergency landing. And, you know, I've been on um, everything from some of the biggest planes uh, that they make to, you know, private aircraft with, you know, one pilot and, uh, you know, myself and another coach. So um, to have it happen kind of on a charter flight with uh, such a big plane is – a little bit odd, but I, I think they were taking some precautionary measures because, you know, I know the the thing that's most important to them, obviously, is to uh, the safety of the passengers and uh, making sure that we're comfortable and, uh, you know, obviously getting to our destination safely. So um, they, they handled it very well and something, I guess, uh, that just happens. But um, there's nothing like being in the air when you have no control over the situation. They're telling you you're going to, you know, go for an emergency landing with the uh, you know, you don't know how much smoke or what's really going on in the cockpit because you're not allowed to see. Uh, before I let you go, so you're in Albany, New York now. Olean, New York, is in the middle of nowhere to begin with. What What are your What are your plans? Well, we had waited um, a little while to figure out our, our next step, and it looks like we're going to. Um, there's another plane uh, that's going to come pick us up between 9:30 and 10 o'clock this evening. So we actually have to get through security in Albany uh, through the main terminal before it closes, which is in the next uh, 45 minutes to an hour and then really just pray and hope that something's actually open where we can get something to eat. <laughs> or we're going to have a very hungry group of guys sitting in the terminal with the whole terminal closed, uh, kind of <laughs> looking at me like, what's going on here, Coach? So <laughs> I'm praying as we head over there right now that uh, the food court's still open or something where we get something to eat.